Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Let's talk a little bit about this battery that we found out about in the webinar. What we found out in the, in the webinar is two things, basically. One is that EVE Energy will be one of Aptera suppliers. So there's going to be multiple suppliers, but EVE Energy is definitely one of them. Until now, we suspected that Samsung might be the supplier because that's who we saw in the previous videos of what of uh, that those are the cells they were using. I believe they were using the Samsung cells because they were available easily online in small batches. And I'm thinking that Eve Energy probably gave them a better deal because they're a slightly smaller company than Samsung. Um, and then there we know the exact chemistry they're using. Now we've always suspected that they're using NMC. Uh, which stands for nickel manganese cobalt chemistry but now we know they're using nmc811 so there's two things i wanted to find out after seeing this what exactly is nmc811 and how's that different than the other uh, nickel manganese cobalt chemistries and what do we know about eve energy all right so let's go first with uh, nmc111 okay so what we know is that this is a cathode composition that's 80% nickel, 10% manganese, and 10% cobalt. So th the first generation of this NMC, and sometimes they're called NCM instead of NMC. Um, the first generation was called uh, NMC111 or NMC333, which means that it was a third nickel, a third manganese, and a third cobalt. These were used in the i3, the Chevy Bolt, Nissan Leaf. And then the next iteration of the NMC chemistry was 622, which was used in some newer vehicles. And now NMC 811 is the newest, most state-of-the-art uh, chemistry. And uh, here's a little graphic that shows the amount of lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese, or aluminum, in the major chemistries used today. So NCA is the chemistry that's used by Tesla in their Model 3. And as you can see, they use... a uh, they use a little bit less lithium than the old NMC chemistries. They use quite a bit of nickel and a lot less cobalt. And NCA uses a little aluminum. So that's the A stands for aluminum. Uh, NMC 811 uses probably about the same amount of lithium as NCA. And then about the same amount of nickel, a little bit less cobalt and, a, and more manganese than they use uh, aluminum. Uh, so this is the state-of-the-art chemistry. This is being currently used in the VW ID4 and will be used in the Hummer. So this is the this is the most uh, advanced uh, nickel manganese cobalt chemistry there is available for commercial production today. And what's the advantage of it? The energy density uh, is much higher than the other uh, the other older chemistries. So this allows it's cheaper and more energy dense so that's why it is the default chemistry at this point okay so that's what we know about nmc111 so they've tweaked the uh, chemistry of the thing and the relative proportions of nickel cobalt and manganese to make it cheaper so there's less cobalt needed uh, and cobalt is uh, one of the more expensive components and it has more energy dense all right so let's find out about eve uh the company so eve stands for a very weird acronym energy very endure okay which is very common in asian companies uh to have these kind of like funny uh funny things that don't make a lot of sense for native english speakers but if you look at it uh, uh individually it kind of makes sense like it, it very endure energy you know energy very endure kind of makes sense anyways it's, it's i find it kind of humorous um but it's a large company. It's, it was uh, started in 2001, and then it was listed in the stock. They went public in 2009. They have over 20,000. Um, uh, they have over 20,000 employees. They have uh, worldwide and about 15,000 in China. You see their stocks. They've been doing well. Their revenue is about seven billion. Uh, so they're they're a big company. Huge, huge company, actually. They have 2.8 million square meters of manufacturing space. Yeah, they're big. All right, so what do we know about their battery? So I looked at this. This, I think, is their chemistry. That's This is very similar to the battery that Aptera is going to use. 
It is a 2170 uh, cell with uh, five amp hours per uh, battery. These specs, you know, 70 grams per cell, these specs are very similar to the Samsung cells that we looked at in the previous video. So I don't expect very many changes in terms of uh, thermal uh, performance and charging and discharge capability. You can see the cycle life is quite good. Um, after 1000 cycles, there is about 85%, actually more like 87% capacity remaining. This means that uh, the Aptera is likely to go about half a million miles before it drops to below 80% capacity. Uh, that is uh, probably more miles than anyone's going to ever put on their car. So I wouldn't worry too much about uh, battery longevity. Uh, the other important thing, I think, is if you go to their, uh, their official website and you look here, you can do customized um, order, and it looks like they're willing to work with you to, to design a cell that gives you the thermal performance and the charging performance that you want. I suspect... It's going to be very similar to this, but I also suspect that Aptera probably put in a custom order with them. And so they're custom designing a cell with this chemistry uh, for Aptera because I think Aptera now has shown that they have enough pre-orders that they can take fairly large deliveries of, um, uh, of cells. And this is probably one of the suppliers that didn't wouldn't give Aptera the time of day when they started, but now that they have this many orders and now that they see that they're serious, they're able to uh, work with them and get a customized cell from them. And so I think that's really good news. Anyway, very good. I think that we should expect at least the same amount of performance as we looked into in the previous battery video where we were doing the calculation based on Samsung batteries. These will most likely outperform them. Um, not probably not by much, but by a little bit, but they are using the most state of the art uh, nickel manganese cobalt chemistry available and they're most likely getting a custom order. All right. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Those are the questions that I had when I uh, first saw that, uh, video from Aptera. And so I just did a little research to just figure out things for myself. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Thanks to all our supporting members who make this channel possible. Thanks to all of you guys who view it and comment. Really enjoy reading your comments. Have a great day, everyone.